This is it. I still hate watching this. I take so many gnarly falls that look way crazier than this. And this one just got me. I'm just not easily satisfied. Like it takes a lot for me to be proud of myself with what I've done. But often I do ask myself after like having a tough injury, why do we put ourselves through all this pain and fear and stress? I personally do it because I love skateboarding so much. I love the challenge of it. I love the, the nonstop progression. But if there was one other reason that I would say, I go out there and you know put my body and my life on the line and do what I do, it, it is to you know build my legacy. It's, it's the, the type of fracture you have. Yeah. It can refer out to you, though. But really? I think based on your, based on like what you're talking about with your history of this being an yeah. issue. We'll just do like five minutes of that before we get started. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When I got told that I tore my ACL, I have never felt like that feeling in my whole life. I literally feel like my whole life just got like ripped out from under me. And I just felt like empty. Switch sharps in the shoe. Tuck a little bit here. Okay, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one, rest. Ah, good. Ah, good job. I Whoa. really do feel my leg getting stronger, and that, that, that's enough right there for me to feel positive. Before I got hurt, I was actually skating almost every day. I was on one, like getting a bunch of clips and just being very productive, and I was just so juiced on skateboarding and getting clips, finishing my video parts. Uh, but yeah, I mean, when, when that's my normal life, like Monday, Tuesday comes around and I, I'm already thinking about what spot I'm going to skate the next weekend, what, you know, hitting up the crew, like, oh, like sending spots to each other, finding stuff, watching videos, just getting yourself hyped up. So when all that's just missing, it's just like, it's hard to stay, you know, motivated to even just live your normal daily life sometimes. Like this whole set, you're gonna go over the speed bump and then I'm gonna loop the song different so it goes to this mm -hmm. and then you land on this beat. These video parts that we put all this time and effort and pain into, like this really is what we're remembered as. It's kind of sick to start with. Right? Yeah. I feel like I need a couple more, a couple more last tricks. <laughs> <laughs> well, the plan was to film more tricks, uh, but he got hurt. No, nah, it's it, it feels good to watch it, you know. It's it's yeah. it's also a little a little hurtful because there's a couple more chicks I wanted in there. I should have at least broken like my arm a couple times, my wrist a couple times, my ankles, like all that, but. They, you know, they just, they just haven't wanted to break yet. And I think a lot of that is because I was just forced to live this very healthy lifestyle growing up. I didn't eat candy, I didn't drink soda, I didn't drink normal milk. I'm definitely a big believer in eating clean and eating healthy and it, 
having a lot to do with, uh, you know, becoming your, your best person and, and also just longevity. Like, I want to be able to do what I'm doing for as long as possible. Um, as a skateboarder and also just as a, as a person, I want to be able to be a healthy, active person for a long time. You could see I knew something was wrong right away. I was just like, I tried to stand up. Nope. Bro, I was in so much pain, I thought I was gonna look down at my leg and it was gonna be like snapped in half. That's how it felt. I kind of like popped too high. The rail was really low. And you can see like in the air right here, I'm just like really high up above the rail. And when I lock in, I mean, there was just no lock in. I just like landed on the rail. And like normally you at least would grind a little bit, but I just slipped off right away. And that just caused me to land in like a very awkward position on my legs. Growing up skating, my dad was always really hard on me. And he was the one who pushed me to skate big rails when I was a little kid. My dad wasn't someone to take me to the hospital. He was just like, oh, this is another day out on the streets. You're just gonna get up and go for it again. So that's the way I was raised. I feel like I was put in a lot of situations as a kid that made me into the person I am today and made me be able to deal with something like this injury in life and be able to come out, come out of it even stronger. I've, I've at least had like a few dreams since I've gotten hurt, even just like cruising on flat and like, I've had a few of those dreams where I'm just like popping these switch heels and I'm just like, oh, just cruising, feels good to be skating again. And then I wake up and I'm like, ah, oh, a few more months still. I am working on, you know, being more, you know, happy with myself and everything I've done throughout my life, throughout my career, everything I've accomplished. It's not that simple, and I know a lot of people probably, probably hear this and, you know, don't understand feeling that way, but, you know, we're human. We're not perfect, you know, we all go through our struggles, and I'm always working on it.